Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick tip video on um, measuring droop and I'll show you real quick. This is my Mugen Seeky MBX7R Echo and you can measure droop on your vehicle with the shocks on it or with the shocks off of it. It doesn't matter. Droop is simply the distance between your upper shock mount here and the hole on the arm that's droop now what droop does is droop adds down travel or adds travel however whatever way you look at it it adds travel so your up travel never changes your down travel is limited by the downward motion of the a-arm where your droop screws bottom out onto the frame or onto the chassis I'm sorry and the limiting screws can stop the a-arm from down from its down travel so when do you want more droop you want more down travel on rough outdoor tracks that have big whoops that have big craters that have big jumps oftentimes you want you want droop um, you need that down travel not only for suspension but travel down travel travel in general also adds body roll it adds side to side body roll and it adds front to back roll, uh, transfer now side to side body roll isn't a bad thing side to side body roll actually adds adds traction so the more your center of gravity the more your mass of your vehicle rolls to the outside it transfers weight to the outside so that pushes the tires into the ground harder well when you're accelerating and braking the same thing happens your the weight transfers front to back instead of side to side so when you hit the brakes the rear end unloads and you're using that down travel because the rear shocks are unloading and the a-arms are moving down and the front end is squatting and it, the front ends up traveling and the shocks are getting shorter and the weights transferring from the rear to the front so the rear the rear droop affects the weight transfer um, back to front and then vice versa for the front when you're accelerating the weight transfers to the rear where the rear shocks are getting shorter and the front shocks are getting longer and that's where you need that front droop so droop affects suspension travel but it also affects weight transfer front to back and side to side so super high high grip tracks where traction rolling is an issue you can remove droop and that will remove the side to side weight transfer and the front to back weight transfer so essentially removing droop can remove traction so you can prevent um, you can prevent traction rolling somewhat with that with droop uh, with removing droop so lots of times uh, if I go to a high bite track such as uh, EN Hobbies in Colum near Columbus Ohio or um, the factory in uh, the RC factory in Jeffersonville Ohio a lot of times people will remove droop and um, try to keep their arms flatter uh, it, will, it, will, it will definitely help help the way the car handles on super high bite but when in outside conditions racing outside in, in the loose dirt you, oftentimes you want more droop and to measure droop um, you just simply measure from the upper shock mount to the hole in the a-arm now the hole in the a-arm so what you do you center each up with your with your calipers and you go to the hole that you're going to mount your shock in and you go to the mount on the arm 
and you go center to center and you see what that is. You could do it this way or that way, it doesn't matter. And lock it down once you get it. And go over to the other side and see if it's the same. And it is. And that's droop. That's how you measure droop. That's how you set droop. And that's how droop affects the way the car handles. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments. And um, I'll try to help you the best I can. Um, thanks for watching. I'll post another one as soon as I think of something else. And we'll keep it rolling. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.